Well, good afternoon, everyone. Rolling up my sleeves, getting ready to sculpt. And uh, let's see how far I can get today. Time to play with some play. Just adding a little muscles here in the legs. Just a matter of building it up one little step at a time. Okay, I just wanted to establish the upper part of the uh, leg so that I can start doing the chest muscles and the shoulder muscles.
got to build up the uh, area underneath the uh, shoulder here so I can do that. Now, Mustangs weren't as muscular as, say, a quarter horse. And a quarter horse is what you see in a lot of westerns. It's not an accurate horse to have. Um, they wore must they rode mustangs, and I swear I don't see quarter horses being used by Western riders until the nineteen fifties. I'm probably really wrong on that, but a lot of the pictures of the old time cowboys and even through the early part of the 20th century, the kind of horses I saw them using were uh, Mustangs. As ranches became more modern and types of feed were a little more available, they could wing themselves off of the uh, Mustang, which didn't have to have a special feed. It just needed grass. You feed a uh, quarter horse nothing but grass, and they're, they'll bloat right up. <coughs> they'll bloat right up from the gases created by the grass in their stomachs and they would die. That's why a lot of the early Western horses were uh, Mustangs. They were brought over by the Spanish for a reason. They knew that they wouldn't be able to have the proper feed for any other breed. I did some research, and that's a rear leg of a horse. Uh, he's running, but that position of that leg is similar to the position of the upper part of this horse's leg. And I notice on the muscle of the uh, maquette, that one muscle right there, is that muscle, now let's see if I can get my finger out of the way, my, it's that muscle right there. Oop. Well, anyway. And uh, I see how that comes into play there. So I'm gonna make that adjustment right now.
I don't want to make it too big of a muscle. I just saw that and I had to take care of that right now and uh, I'll come back to that at another time but I wanted to just get that at least indicated. pays to have good maquettes horse maquettes to go by because drawings just don't do it alright I'm actually going to call it quits right here because uh, I want to take my time on the shoulder muscles they really are important I want to build up the uh, neck muscles and I probably will have to do the head next. The shoulder muscles are very important. Uh, and uh, I've got to do one thing at a time. And I think what I need to do is work on the head separately uh, from the horse. Yeah, that's going to have to do it for today. Um, I'll pick this up next time, uh, tomorrow. And, uh, thank goodness I got these magnifiers because I'd be dead in the water with the detail work that I have to do on these things. Let me get this hung up here out of the way. I ordered another magnifier and I should be getting it Monday. Um, I'm going to try it out. Always looking for a good head mounted magnifier for my eyes which uh, are slowly failing me all right good night everybody see you tomorrow <laughs> if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really would help me also check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.